Hey guys, how's it going? Hope y'all are having a good one. Gonna go on a little ride today. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe on the video if you haven't already. It is greatly appreciated. We're gonna do a little scenic ride today, so. Countryside. Sunset, all that good stuff. So make sure you stay tuned for that. It should be pretty, uh, pretty good, easy going rod anyway. And while I'm thinking about it, you guys have killed it this month with the subscribers. I greatly appreciate it. And we are getting close to the end of the month but we're extremely close to 200 subscribers so if we could hit that 200 subscribers that'd be awesome just make sure you uh just make sure you share the video with any of your motorcycle friends tell them to join the the chaos kids subscribers commented on my video and said that I should do more scenic areas and stuff like that so that's what we're gonna do today we're gonna go by a place called Sunset Marina it's over in North Tennessee it's kind of towards Birdstown I guess somewhere between Salon and Birdstown right near the state lawn but it's a lake overlook and pretty cool little place so we'll check that out maybe get some pictures for the Instagram which will be linked up at the top left corner and also I should let y'all know that uh, I'll put it up in the top right corner actually but I created a TikTok for the account if y'all are interested I haven't done much on it but of course it's new and I'll probably do some of the little trending motorcycle top things on there so if that's something y'all are interested in, if any of you guys do TikTok, I'll come over there as well. gonna post a video yesterday actually but my camera was dead and so I was like oh I'll just throw my other camera in come back the other way and I'll still have a video nope my other camera battery was dead so both of my camera batteries somehow were dead even though it, it said I had 75% when I left the house I don't know if I accidentally left my camera on or what Somehow it died. I don't know. It started out as 58 minutes, but the first, or 58 miles, but the first like 25 miles was driving through the roads I always take, a combination of that and driving through town. And I figured I'd save you all the headache. So I just eliminated all of that and started out on the, the little back road. As soon as I seen, uh, Beware of twisties, son. I hit the record button. I'll probably start doing more editing because I feel like some of my videos are longer and there's not very much content. And then some of my videos, I feel like they're too short. So I'll probably find like a happy medium, like 15 to 20 minutes of nothing but good content. 
if that's something y'all are interested in. I know a lot of people like my kind of raw videos, and I kind of like the raw videos. But at the same time, I spend a lot of time doing the videos. And it's not my, uh, it's not my career, at least not yet. I still work 40 hours a week. This is just my, uh, recreational Tom, we'll say. This is my personal Tom. That's not, uh, home life. It's like a third job. But one that you enjoy. It's not a downshift, that would be bad. Might actually get there in time for the sunset or at sunset time anyway I was hoping to be home before the sun went down because as y'all know my head lot is kind of jank but that's all right totally worth it Sun got Mars. I've seen that. Probably would have ended up over there in that field. That'd be my luck. Sorry guys, something blew in my helmet. It's okay, I think it went in my nose. Maybe going the other way, or on something way faster.
should have worn my jacket. I didn't even think about it. I'm the world's worst about just walking out without my jacket, not even thinking twice about it. Good parking spot, guy. Gotta love when there's people parked where you can't see crossing traffic that doesn't stop. think my next investment for the channel should be either another GoPro facing me or a 360 camera I'm kind of torn between the two so if y'all have any uh, audience preference let me know I'm not saying it'll be anytime soon but I've definitely been thinking about it weighing the options So if I have any viewer preference, let me know down in the comments because it could go either way. And if y'all have any, if y'all personally have any preference, let me know because I'll obviously uh, 
rather have y'all's input than just swing with one of them and hope it's a hit. Or if y'all just like like the POV view, that's fine too. We can keep doing it like this. on a deer to jump out in front of me I'm not gonna long wouldn't be the first time what's this guy doing oh uh, there's a one lane up here I remember seeing something about that actually turn around here oh for 30 foot vehicles sucks for them imagine going off this cliff right here that would be bad it's actually a pretty cool little overview there I've never been this way actually now that I think about it or if I have, it was a long time ago. Too bad Joel's uh, view is a 30-year-old Nissan Pathfinder. Or, sorry, a Toyota 4Runner, my bad. Lock me up in the comments, please. View. We shall get a picture for the gram. I don't get ran over. a nice little view though I guess this is Standing Stone I'm not really sure it was Standing Stone Highway it's like a national park or something along those lines anyway I thought for sure they were turning down here. That's awkward. We. Oui. And we're back behind the forerunner because apparently they went the wrong way and now we're right back behind them. Heck yeah, 
Uh, my phone has 11%. 10%. Steadily decreasing. The sad part is I bought a a uh, charger for it. And guess what I didn't uh, install yet? The charger for my phone. And now my phone's going to die. pretty good little rod actually I can't believe I've never been this way it is Standing Stone State Park sorry not National Park Standing Stone State Park Ugh, kill shot I think I just got shot no blood <laughs> we're good Discover Tennessee Trails and Byways. Comment down below if y'all would like me to do the Discover Tennessee tour. There's stuff all over Tennessee of that. Uh, Discover Tennessee, it's like byways, I guess, and uh, like old highways that, you know, were used by Indians and whatnot. Some pretty cool little highways. So comment down below if that's something y'all be interested in. Hey guys, I cut out the boring part, so... I guess that's a good thing about uh, being on the other side of the camera is you get to miss the boring parts. And my phone's about to die, so there's that. 13 miles. I hope this is the right place, because last time I used this GPS, it took me to the wrong side. And if that's the case, I'll completely miss the sunset and everything. But this isn't the place that I thought I was going to. ever try and scratch your head through your helmet or is that just me like my head's been itching for like 10 minutes and I keep trying to scratch it it doesn't work out too well
I missed the sunset anyway. It looks like it's already going down. I'm still recording. I figured my camera would have died by now. That's my luck. there was a sharp curve coming up here.
fun little road. I never thought to ride the bike out here. I rode the Jeep out here, but not the bike.
and my phone dot. my phone will die. As soon as I almost got here, it's going to die. I knew that was going to happen. And we're definitely past wherever it was saying that I was supposed to go. At least I'm bringing good uh, scenic road uh, content. It'd be even better if I'd learn how to ride a bike. I swear I either overshoot corners or undershoot them every time it never fills. However, I've gotten way better at uh, using my brakes and covering my brakes with my shorty levers that made a world of difference alone Be nice if I knew where I was, I'm not gonna lie. Would you look at that, guys?
Maybe there's somewhere I can get a good picture. Right there in the ditch would be a good spot if I can't keep my bike up. Can I pull my bike on that walk ramp and just take a picture of it there? That would be awesome. Oh wait, I can't take a picture. My phone's dead. Road ends in water. Fantastic. Do it for the bomb. Just yeet it right in the water. Get a good picture anyway, or a, you know, video, because my phone's dead. But I'll crop it out into a picture, it's fun. Get a few different angles, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we don't want the building in it. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright guys, let's go before it gets dark. All the way back the way we came. Because this one ends in water. Runs into semi trailer. guys i'm literally gonna be going back the same way i came so if you made it this far in the video make sure you like comment and subscribe it's greatly appreciated of course like always share it with your friends because we are still trying to hit that 200 uh subscribers mark by the end of the month and the end of the month is coming a lot faster than i anticipated but that's all right but again like i said thanks for y'all uh tuning in if you stay tuned till the end, it is greatly appreciated. Helps me out more than you guys know. But again, thank you guys. And I'm going to get off here. I'm going to go ahead and wrap the video up. If it's not dark by the time I get out of this hole, I'll go and uh, go to the marina where I anticipated on going to begin with. Because I didn't realize where I was at. And But if not, thank you guys. And we'll see you again tomorrow. Peace.